I decided to add suggestions from the comments of my last video to my voxel engine. Some were good, but some were... Uh, interesting. And one of them literally made me remake big parts of my engine. One of the top comments said to make an animation for loading the chunks that makes them rise up from the ground. I don't really want to do an actual animation because just loading a chunk creates a little bit of lag, so animating it would be even worse. But it did give me an idea to do something very similar. So let's go and try to do that. <laughs> what is that? Um, no, this is not a bug, it's a feature. It's for my next video. My goal was to make a curvature in the distance kind of like a planet has. With actually working shaders, it does kind of work, but I'm not sure if I like it or not. Let me know what you guys think. The rest of that comment also mentioned water, particles, and grass. While I do like those ideas, I think those things deserve their own videos because I feel like they're going to be a pain to do. Next, a bunch of people suggested ambient occlusion or at least something to give depth to the shadow parts because right now they look bad. I don't really want to add ambient occlusion because for voxels it wouldn't do much. But I can add a little bit of diffuse lighting in shadows which will give a similar effect and allow you to see depth even in shadows. Noise. Next comment. As if it couldn't get any harder? What? You want me to get even harder? <laughs> I got the infamous Mr. Pickle asking for an AK again and again and again, as well as Man King asking for a baguette again. Adding just an AK and a baguette the same way I added the sun would be very difficult and kinda dumb. Okay, so one, one, then minus one for a hole, then eight for the muzzle. Not even Bob the Builder could build something with this. So I decided to make a tool that Bob the Builder would be proud of, a mesh builder so that everyone can build their own meshes out of cubes. The basic idea is simple, you get sent to an empty world, build your mesh, save it and then you can spawn it while playing. It should be easy enough. Okay I got the empty world and the placing and breaking of voxels done. At least if you want to build only with grass. Making a grass baguette would not be very good, so I added other blocks too. Now I just need to code the saving and loading system and... Great, we can now save our creations and spawn them. I save all of the buildings to a folder called built. I know what you're thinking, it's a building, not a built. Why would we call it a building if it's already built? That would be so dumb, so yeah, of course it's called a built, not a building. The loading and saving is all done using keybinds, which is not very easy to use. Even though my keybinds are very good, like L to load and K to save. <laughs> and also the keybind events trigger every frame, so the meshes spawn every frame. Oof. So I learned the basics of UI and OpenGL and made a little chat where you can type commands to save and load. Later I can use this to test other things too, so it will be useful even though it doesn't look very nice. It's kind of like me, it doesn't look good, but it works. Finally, when you're building, you don't see what block you are currently placing, which makes it kind of confusing. So I coded a way to put a mesh in the corner of the camera, so it's kind of like your hand. But as you can see, there's a bug causing black squares to be rendered on top of it. The same bug is also present in the map and my frames massively drop when I look at it. I noticed that bug a while ago but I could never figure out what it was. I finally fixed it and it made the black squares disappear as well as increase my FPS a ton because the bug was pretty much making my engine render every triangle twice. So fixing it cut in half the rendered triangles. Now I have good FPS and I can see what I am building with. I can also use the same mechanic to attach a baguette to my hand. Ha ha ha, my end is a baguette. I also added a scale feature for all of the meshes bound because having a giant baguette might not be what you want. Personally, I would love to have a giant baguette. Of course, I also have to add an AK for pickle. It's kind of hard to make one with cubes though. Yes, epic AK and baguette. Man King and Pickle will be very happy. 
I wonder what they're gonna ask for next. <laughs> next! What? That's it? <laughs> no one likes me. Okay then, I'm gonna make Pickles AK even better by making it actually shoot. That's actually very easy because I already coded destruction for the world, so I just gotta make the AK use it. Shit! Didn't I already fix the destruction two vids ago? Why is it broken again? I didn't even touch it! Made by Max is the made in China of code, I swear it doesn't last long. Anyway, I fixed the bugs and optimized the code a ton, but it still caused a small lag spike on destroy. What's weird is that destroying a small or large radius caused almost the same amount of lag. I checked my code to find out why it was lagging. What the fuck is this piece of shit? And I realized that I was looping through all of the cubes in the map every time I clicked to destroy. Uh, whoops. So after making that use chunks instead, it was much better, but still a little bit laggy. I had done literally everything I could to optimize it, but there was still an annoying small lag spike when destroying. And also when I destroyed a bigger radius, the lag was even worse. Also, I noticed that my world is getting corrupted, uh, I don't know what's going on. So I had to bring out the big guns and do something that no sane person would do. And no, the big guns are not my biceps, I know they're big, but that's not what I'm talking about now. I decided to rewrite the whole way my voxels were set up in memory. This involves literally rewriting a part of my engine. At first it caused some really weird bugs, and my world made no sense anymore. I was expecting it to take days, but somehow, just an hour later, I had successfully changed the whole code and gained a lot of FPS already. But I didn't rewrite everything hoping that this alone would gain me FPS. Oh no 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 no. I rewrote everything to allow me to use multi-threading. Right now, my whole engine runs on one thread, meaning that while it's loading or destroying stuff, it cannot render anything or do anything else, causing a lag spike. With the new way that my code is, I can now have different threads running at the same time. This means that now, even if a destruction is big and takes a whole second to happen, the game will not freeze during that time, so it will still have frames and be fluid. I can also do the same thing with chunks loading later if necessary. So now, I can destroy the whole world super fast with no lag spike, ha 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 ha! I even added a queue system, so if you destroy faster than the game can make holes, it will queue your next destroys and do them as soon as possible. This allows me to create huge holes really fast and even dig as I fly through the ground. <coughs> uh, what was the video about again? Oh yes, uh, suggestions. So yes, as you suggested, I added an AK that shoots hole into the map with multi-threading and recoded my whole voxel setup. I saw a few other suggestions like to use textures. I'm noting those ideas to maybe add them later, but I'm not sure yet if that's the style that I want. I kind of like the simplistic just color style. Hopefully everyone is satisfied with their suggestions being added. I think the next thing I'll do is particle effects because destruction without particles is kinda whack. You know I'm blowing up a huge hole and there's no particles, no dust, no fire, anything. That's boring. Once the particles are done, the engine will be good enough to make a small game on. I'm thinking maybe about an anime style fighting game where you destroy the world and maybe enemies using some cool superpowers like fireballs, but feel free to leave suggestions for game ideas.